Is your couch starting to look like this? A dog fur ball? Well, you might have a dog shedding problem. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to be showing you my new top five natural remedies. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. If you've yet to do so, I encourage you to click down there to subscribe to my channel. Click somewhere beside it to sign up for notifications. And lastly, I really encourage you to check out my newsletter where I can send you my free book, my three free videos. Click the link further in the box below for more information. So the whole dog shedding thing, it can be a huge, huge problem. The hair on Pippi, it just keeps coming out and out and out. I mean, you can just keep brushing her and brushing her and brushing her. And this hair just never stops. But what can you do? I mean, is it just normal? Yes, it is. It's normal to have hair grow, mature, um, fall out. That's all part of the normal dog hair life cycle. But fortunately, there are a number of other things you can do to at least like diminish that hair load, like just decrease the amount of shedding naturally in your house. And then just maybe you don't have to have a fur couch. So the first thing is something that I've discussed in the past in my last video on dog shedding, and it needs to be reiterated. It's like brushing. You've got to decrease just the amount of hair, that hair burden that's on your dog. So the brush I like is a Furminator type brush. So it's got these sort of, as you can see, these fine teeth on it. And underneath, it's also got a small blade. So not only will it pull out the excess hair, it'll actually, with that small little blade, it'll actually sort of cut the base of that excess hair. So you're going to get so much more hair out. So in terms of frequency, you know, ideally you're just doing it once a day. I mean, especially focusing on, you know, the, the neck, um, the side of your dog, all those areas where there's just so much extra fur that, you know, tends to just always grow and fall out and end up on your furniture, your couch, your sandwich, your coffee. I mean, look at that with one short little brush of Pippi. It can make a new small furry animal. Second, there's a couple of key supplemental ingredients can really make a difference in terms of improving the quality of your dog's hair coat, um, how frequently then it's gonna die and then fall out. Because we know it's just part of a normal life cycle. Hair grows, it dies, it falls out. But if you add two specific things, you may actually improve uh, the strength of your dog's hair, decrease the amount of it falling out. So first, there's two specific ingredients. One is flax oil. There's additional flax oil in my supplement, Advanced Canin Health Formula, along with additional curcumin. Those two ingredients in combination together can play a big role in just decreasing you know, how fast you know, that hair is growing, falling out. So for a dog like Pippi, she would be getting one scoop a day. And I'll actually put a link underneath just to the supplement itself so you guys can check it out. Here, Pipster, and I'm just... I know she's had it before. Pippi likes everything, but let's just let's try to see. Oh my God, Pippi. Ah, she'll eat it without anything added. The third thing I want to have you guys consider is spraying on a conditioner. One, that you're trying to you know, keep the hair coat as high quality as possible. You keep it as healthy as possible so it's least likely to fall out. Secondarily, what I also find, if you can add a little bit of additional moisture via a healthy fat, which is what a conditioner is, you can actually decrease just the amount of hair. It's just falling off your dog. So my homemade concoction consists of using coconut oil. So what I've done is I've taken two tablespoons of this. This is the coconut oil in the hardened you know, form. I've melted in the pot here. So we've got, you know, smelly and warmish, but now melted coconut oil. And we're going to take two tablespoons out of here. I'm going to put this in this spray bottle, as you guys can see here. So you know, most places, any pharmacy, even grocery stores, you have bottles that you can add liquid to and form into a spray. So I've got two tablespoons of the coconut oil. Then we're going to add one cup of water. Okay. 
And now we have our willing patient, Girl Pippi, you don't want you to lick everything. I'm just gonna try. Here's a little coconut oil, sort of natural conditioner. One big thing, you're gonna need to shake it really well because you're gonna find the oil will just separate out from the water. So shake it first before you spray it. And I'm just gonna sort of lightly miss Pippi with it. I think feeling, and I might add a little bit more oil. I'm sure you could add three or four tablespoons. Um, but I'd love to see, you know, if this would help. Because I know, first of all, it's gonna rehydrate her skin, keep it nice and moist. Secondarily, you know, provide some natural nutrients um, to keep that hair healthy. In the very least, it's gonna keep more of the hair on Pippi, less in the house. The fourth thing I would have you guys consider trying is just directly feeding coconut oil, as well as using it as some type of spray conditioner. Once again, coconut oil has an array of different proven health benefits for us as well as for our dogs. Primarily, the benefits come from MCT oil. It's part of the oil that makes up coconut oil itself. It's been shown to increase metabolic rate, provide an alternate source of fuel for the brain, can actually potentially improve brain function. Um, it can help improve digestion. You know, it's providing an alter alternate source of energy. Um, it can also help you know those good bacteria, those those probiotics growing your 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 own your dog's intestinal tract. And no question, it provides a number of different health benefits for the skin. It's also antibacterial. So knowing it's got all those benefits, it really can you know help your dog's hair quality, potentially decrease the amount of hair that's falling out. You know, a pretty standard dose is about one half to one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight daily. You know, Pippi, eh, she get about a tablespoon a day. And I would go ahead and try it. Try it for 30 days, see if it's beneficial. Pippi the shedding machine, look what I have for you. I just hope this doesn't lead to diarrhea in your folks' house. And generally, most dogs tolerate it really well. If you're not sure, start, start smaller, you know, even half this amount. So I'm gonna give Pippi about a, a little over a teaspoon. Bad. Oh, yeah. Pippi, as you can see, likes coconut oil. Mmm. The fifth thing I wanted to mention is something which is rich in copper, B vitamins, rich in iron, rich in zinc. So it comes in the form of this, just plain old molasses. It's you know, got an array of differing benefits itself, um, but it's a real sort of natural, easy way to provide some of those additional nutrients to your dog. Approximate doses are about a half a teaspoon to one teaspoon per 10 pounds of body weight daily, uh, meaning I would be giving Pippi sort of one and a half to two tablespoons a day. Let's just try her out with some of it. You know, it's easy and expensive to get at any grocery store. Just a second, Pippi. We're gonna try some cooking molasses, and I know she's gonna like it. It's hard to find anything that Pippi doesn't like, uh, except for maybe me poking and prodding you. Okay, Pipster. I got it. Okay, Pippi, does this not look good? Mmm. Okay. Moment of truth. Will Pippi, Pippi eat it? Here's your molasses. Oh, good girl. Mmm. So, once again, I encourage you guys to sort of start with one remedy. Try it first, it'd be fine for instance to start, you know, either with my supplement. You know, do that for a month, fine to have your dog on it. If that's not helping, then you know, try adding in, you know, either the coconut oil as a conditioner, spray, and or the coconut oil orally. But you're gonna need to do that for a period of time, a reasonable time is about four weeks. If it works, great, stick with it. If it's not helping, go on and try something else. Thank you guys so much for watching this edition of NRA Secrets. I'd love for you to click up there to subscribe to my channel. Click down there to sign up for no notifications. And lastly, if you yet to do so, I encourage you to click the link further in the box below and the one you sign up for my newsletter. I can send you my free books and my free videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.